In today's health alert, state and local health authorities gearing up for a potential surge in respiratory illnesses this fall. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Brian Abel. And I'm Glenda Lewis, and they're emphasizing the importance of eligible Americans to get vaccinated against COVID-19, the flu, and RSV as soon as they can. All right, let's bring in our Dr. Partha Nandy for more on this. Are we expecting a respiratory virus season that's particularly bad? And you know, what do we do from there? Hey, we don't always know, you know, how bad the fall and winter seasons will be. And so health officials are keeping close eye on the viral spread in the southern hemisphere. Why? Because uh, the flu season usually occurs earlier there, and the experts look for clues as to what might happen here in the U.S. As of right now, there are a lot of cases of flu in the southern parts of the world, and that's why it's super important for people who are eligible to protect themselves against a triple threat of, a threat of uh, respiratory viruses. And for the very first time, there will be three vaccines to fight these viruses. The first is, of course, the flu shot. So far, it appears to be a good match, and that's good news. Annual flu shots are recommended for everyone six months of age and up, and it's best to get the shots before Halloween, which is Brian's favorite holiday. <laughs> Next, we have the, the new RSV vaccine available for adults age 60 and up, and it's aimed at older folks because they have a higher risk of developing a severe infection. In clinical trials, in fact, the vaccine was 83% effective at preventing lower respiratory tract disease and 94% effective at preventing severe disease in, in older patients with underlying health conditions as to when to get the shot, right? It's really best to check with your family physician first to make sure it's right for you. And lastly, we have our friend, the COVID booster. And we talked about this yesterday. The new monovalent shot targets the XBB variant, but should also protect against the newer Omicron variants. Most Americans will likely need one shot. We're still kind of waiting for the on the FDA to sign off and the CDC as well. However, I believe the new boosters will be available sometime this fall, Brian. All right, so you talked about multiple shots. Can, can you mix that cocktail together? <laughs> As always, you can do that, right? If you want, you can get both the flu shot and the new COVID-19 vaccine at the same time. But I recommend getting the RSV vaccine separately. Why? Because there's evidence showing that getting all three shots together could actually decrease their effectiveness, so they may not work as well. Also worth mentioning is that the new antibody, Nirsevimab, it's approved for babies. We talked about this. In clinical trials, the antibody lowered the chance of a baby needing medical attention by about 70%. It was also 78% effective at preventing hospitalization, which is great. And babies can get the shot just before their first RSV season. Now, no vaccine is 100%. We know that, right? It's not 100% of preventing illnesses, but overall, I'm super excited to see how these vaccines can protect Americans and the impact they'll have on the upcoming respiratory virus season. So we'll keep an eye on the southern hemisphere and, and I think act accordingly. But I, I think it'll be nice to be able to protect yourself from these three, three viruses, all of which can wreak, wreak havoc. All right. Appreciate your expertise as always. My pleasure. Thanks, Doctor. Hey, be sure to tune in to this week's episode of The Doctor and Andy Show. This week, The Doctor explores the science of dating and talks with experts about the rules of finding that special someone, various techniques, and what it takes to find a perfect match. That's this Sunday at 5 p.m. right here on 7, Glenda.